your spirit, wellspring of our lives, as the refreshing rain falls on the just and unjust alike. Refresh us with your mercy, you who knows our own injustice. As the stream flows steadily on, defying all the odds of stone and water. Flow over every boundary and border that separates us from each other. As the waters of our baptism washed us and welcomes us, renew us now in newness of life and unity of love. Hold us in the power and peace of your abiding presence. A reading from Psalm 9. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turned back, they stumbled and perished before you, for you have maintained my just cause. You have sat on the throne giving righteous judgment. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemies have vanished in everlasting ruins. Their cities you have rooted out. The very memory of them has perished. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He judges the world with righteousness. He judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the peoples. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke, the fourth chapter. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him, and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They said, Is not this Joseph's son? He said to them, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb, Doctor, cure yourself, and you will say, Do hear also in your hometown the things that we have heard you did at Capernaum. And he said, Truly I tell you, No prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel in the time of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months. And there was a severe famine over all the land. Yet Elijah was sent to none of them except to a widow at Zarephath in Sidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. They got up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they might hurl him off the cliff. But he passed right through the midst of them and went on his way. This is the Gospel of the Lord.
oh God, gladly we live and move and have our being in you. Yet always in the midst of this creation glory, we see sin's shadow and feel death's darkness. Around us in the earth, sea, and sky. Beside us in the broken, the hungry, and the poor. The betrayal of one another. And often, deep within us, a striving against your spirit. O Trinity of love, forgive us that we may forgive one another. Heal us that we may be people of healing and renew us that we also may be makers of peace. In the midst of hunger and war, we celebrate the promise of plenty and peace. In the midst of oppression and tyranny, we celebrate the promise of service and freedom. In the midst of doubt and despair, we celebrate the promise of faith and hope. In the midst of fear and betrayal, we celebrate the promise of joy and loyalty. In the midst of hatred and death, we celebrate the promise of love and life. In the midst of sin and decay, we celebrate the promise of salvation and renewal. In the midst of death on every side, we celebrate the promise of the living Christ. Amen. Let us pray. O God, lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead us from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead us from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our hearts, our world, our universe. O oh God, since there is no distinction of race and origin, in you we all are one. Empower us to break down the barriers that still divide us, so that we may work in harmony with each other and with you. Make us worthy, O oh Lord, to serve the people throughout the world who live and die in poverty and hunger. Give them, through our hands, this day their daily bread. And by our understanding and love, give peace and joy. Christ, you are before us. This is what gives us courage to go on. It is you who directs. It is you who beckons. So we dedicate ourselves, and we bless you now. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born again to everlasting life. Amen. A blessing on you who are poor. Yours is the kingdom of God. A blessing on you who mourn. You shall be comforted. A blessing on you who hunger for justice. You shall be satisfied. A blessing on you who make peace. You shall be called children of God. A blessing on you who are persecuted for the cause of right. Yours is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. May the God who shakes heaven and earth, whom death could not contain, who lives to disturb and heal us, 
bless you with power to go forth and proclaim the gospel. Amen.